Hello everybody, this is Tim Arthur from TimPonders.com and today I'm going to share a first look of iOS version 4.3 for the iPad. Uh, iOS 4.3 is available starting on March 11th for download and also uh, that will coincide with the release of the iPad 2 device on the same day. Uh, this isn't the most ideal screencast as uh, I'm not willing to jailbreak my iPad to capture the video using some of those applications but I've taken some screenshots of uh, the device and as you'll see down here uh, this is running iOS 4.3 and one of the better features uh, of the new iOS one of the major things is the ability to pick what your side switch functions as. You can either pick mute or lock rotation and this will allow you to set the uh, the side switch by the volume rocker uh, to, to do either one of these two functions. Originally when the iPad first came out uh, it would lock your screen orientation here uh, using the lock rotation but when they released uh, iOS 4 for the iPad they changed the functionality to mute and a lot of people didn't like that and Apple's listened and uh, they give you the option to pick at this point. Next we'll see um, the home sharing functionality which allows you to uh, actually stream audio and video content from iTunes if you enable home sharing. You just put in your Apple ID and your password and uh, then you can view your libraries. As you'll see on the next screen uh, when you come up to the uh, left hand upper left hand corner of the uh, the iPod application for example you're allowed to pick you just click on uh, the top portion you're allowed to pick where you're you're actually listening to uh, your content from you can either pick the iPad which will play locally stored media or you can pick your shared library on your computer I've picked the shared library here as you'll see and it's listing uh, some of my uh, songs uh, these are I sorted it by artist and I picked Daft Punk and here's the Tron Legacy soundtrack. You can also pick uh, you know songs, albums, genres, and composers, the different categories that are typical for I, for the iPod application. Uh, so when, when I pick it, uh, it goes it goes ahead and it plays uh, the song streaming from my MacBook and I can hear it uh, on the iPod on the iPad itself. And next you'll see uh, you can also stream video. Uh, it takes a little bit to cache up over the Wi-Fi. But uh, you'll see it's showing here that I'm picking shared videos uh, from my library. And I can pick movies, TV shows, podcasts, or music videos. And it works just fine. Uh, those are a few of the major functions of the new iOS. There are some other functions uh, that uh, are pretty hard to demonstrate. Uh, you'll have to check them out for yourself. For example, uh, Safari now uses uh, what's called the Nitro Java Engine, which is a little, little bit faster uh, and streamlined. Uh, should improve uh, the performance of the Safari application on the iPad. And uh, also, there's uh, some new functionality that will be coming with the, the new iPad 2 that will allow you to run applications like Photo Booth uh, using the new camera system uh, that they've got on both the front and the back of the new iPad device. Uh, aside uh, from the general improvements that the new device will offer in the form of the processor, uh, uh, it's a great, uh, sounds like a great upgrade and the iOS itself uh, adds a couple of new features that uh, I think will enhance your usability. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Uh, are you planning on getting a new iPad? Do you have an iPad already? Uh, what do you think about it? What are some of the limitations uh, that you see the device having? Uh, what types of things uh, are you able to do with the device? What, uh, what do you think? Drop me a note below in the comments, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much, guys.